Hey YouTube, Nosrox here. In this video, I'll be showing you how to downgrade any iPhone 4S running iOS 8.4 back down to iOS 6.1.3 without the use of SHSH blobs. Before we get started, the iPhone 4S that you want to downgrade needs to be jailbroken and you also need to install OpenSSH. Since I don't have it installed, I'll open up Cydia, wait for it to load, Tap on the search button at the bottom and type open SSH. Once you see it, tap on it, tap on the install button on the upper right hand corner and tap confirm. Give it a second to download and install. Once it's done, we're going to tap on return to Cydia. Once it's done, tap return to Cydia and back out. Now you need to head on over to your computer and download the iNation 4S downgrade zipped file. I'll have that link on a written tutorial on my blog, which I'll link you to it down below in the description. Once you have it downloaded, open it up and extract the 4S downgrade folder onto your desktop. Once it's on your desktop, open it up and we're going to read the readme text file. I put together a set of instructions for you guys to go along with this video just in case you guys get lost along the way. So before we do step one, we need to make sure that we have the correct iTunes installed, which is version 12.0.1. And you could check that out by opening up iTunes, tapping on the upper left hand corner, show menu bar, tap on help and about iTunes. As you can see, I'm running iTunes 12.0.1. So if you're running a later version of iTunes, you'll need to downgrade it back to this version, which you could do by tapping on the card on the screen. Now it'll take you to a video that'll help you out. Then you could come back to this one and finish it off. Off. Moving on, we already extracted the 4S downgrade folder onto your desktop. Now we need to make sure that the custom iOS 6.1.3 IPSW is located inside the iDevice Restore for Windows folder. And as you can see, the custom iOS 6.1.3 IPSW is right there where it's supposed to be. Now we can move on to the next step. So you need to install OpenSSL and you also need to install WinSCP. These two programs are essential to the downgrading process as you'll see why in the steps to come. I'll fast forward this part of the video so you guys don't have to sit through the whole thing. When you're done installing both programs, open up WinSCP and we'll need to SSH onto our device. Underneath host name, you're going to need to put your IP address, which is located inside of settings, Wi-Fi, tap on the blue eye next to the network that you're connected to and grab the IP address that you see right there. Mine is 192.168.0.9. Yours should be different and you're going to type that into host name. Under username, you're going to type root and underneath password, you're going to type Alpine. Now you could tap the login button, give it a couple of seconds to connect to your device. Once you're prompted, tap update. Now that you're logged into your device on the upper left hand corner, tap on the drop down bar and select desktop. Go into your 4S downgrade folder and make sure that the K loader and pawn IBSS files are there. Now on the right hand side, select the main root directory, grab the Kloader and pawn IBSS files and drag and drop them into the root directory of your device. Head on over to the instructions and we should be on step 4. We need to open up the terminal on WinSCP and we need to execute two commands. We could do this by tapping on the terminal button at the top of WinSCP. Give it a second to launch. Once it does, you can't copy and paste these commands. You'll need to type it up yourself. Once you finish typing the first command, tap execute or press enter. Then you can start typing the second command and do the same. Once you're done typing the commands, you'll need to wait about 10 seconds and your device will go into DFU mode. You could tap abort on WinSCP, tap OK and close it down. Moving on to step 6, we need to open up the command prompt by tapping on the start button and type CMD. Once you see the command prompt, right click and run it as an administrator. 
You can actually copy and paste these commands right here, but you need to do one change to them. In the first command where it says your name, you'll need to type the name of your computer before you copy and paste it. One easy way to find out the name of the computer is by tapping on the start button and checking out the name underneath the icon. The name of this computer is Eric, so I'll type Eric for your name. So now I'll copy it, I'll right click on the command prompt and tap paste. Press enter and now you're in the iDevice restore for Windows folder. Now you need to go back and copy the second command, do the same thing and press enter once you're done. Your device is now downgrading back to iOS 6.1.3. I'll let the video play all the way through, I'll be right back as soon as it's done.
So now that my device is back on, I'll go into settings, general, about, and as you can see, I'm running iOS 6.1.3, downgraded from iOS 8.4. So hopefully you guys like this video and enjoy your iPhone 4S. If you do, rate this video up by hitting that like button down below. If you need some help, leave me a comment. Don't forget to subscribe. This is Nas Rocks. Peace.